Merging workbooks means that you want to be able to combine one workbook into another or many workbooks into one. Now Excel doesn't allow you to merge just any workbook. There are a couple of parameters we have to go by before Excel will allow us to merge workbooks together. First of all is that Excel will only merge workbooks that are a copy of the original. Of course mine's the generic title of Merge Original. So this is going to be my original workbook. I'm going to make copies of this workbook, hand it out to everybody else. They make their changes. Now it's important when I hand this out to everybody else that they don't mess with the layout, the structure of it. They just make changes within the data. So for example, I'm going to create a copy for the accounting department, one for customer service, one for each department. I'll send it out to them, a copy of the original here, and I'll tell them, look, if you have any extension changes, go ahead and update that. If they change departments, update that. If their last name changes, update that. And I emphasize this, I don't want them to come in here and click and drag and move my layout around. Because you can imagine what's going to happen if I try to merge this. Well, first, if Excel will allow me to merge this much of a screwed up layout. So I'll go ahead and hit undo here. But again, what I want to be able to do is after I create copies for each department is have them make the updates. So I'll have a total of one, two, three, four, five different departments, five different copies of workbooks from the original that at the end of the month or at the end of the quarter, I can go ahead and gather all those other five workbooks together and merge them all into this one and be able to see those updates flash right in front of me here if they made changes to the extension department or their names. And then I can accept or reject those changes if, if I choose to do so. So that's the first thing to keep in mind, or the first parameter, is you've got to have an original workbook, make copies of it. Now before you make copies of the original workbook, it has to be in shared mode. Now if you haven't watched the previous training video on sharing a workbook, you want to watch that so you can be up to speed what, what I'm talking about here. And you can see right here it's already in shared mode, but let's start from scratch. I have my original workbook. That's step one. Step two is to turn on the shared mode before I make copies. To turn it on, come to the Review tab, go to the Changes group, click on Share Workbook, and be sure to check that box. I've checked it, hence that's why it's in shared mode, and you can see that up in the title bar in brackets. Click OK. Now that it's in shared mode, I can go ahead and start creating copies of my original workbook to hand out to everybody so I can merge them all together later on. To start creating copies, I'm going to come up here and click on the Save As button. I want to create one for each department, of course, so I'll start with one, accounting, hit enter on the keyboard, and then you can see this is a copy, it's accounting. I'm going to click on Save As again, and let's do another copy, and do this for CS, for customer service, hit enter, do Save As, and I'll fly right through this, three, development, hit enter, two more, hit Save As, we'll do four for HR, hit enter to save it, and that's HR. Click Save As, and finally we have number 5, IT, hit Enter, it's saved. So if I go ahead and click on the inner X here to close the inner window, but I still have my Excel program open, I'm going to minimize that. Go to my Exercises group, because that's where I saved all five copies of the original workbook. Double click. There's one, two, three, four, five. And then my original workbook down here is the Merge Original. So what I want to do is I want to come in here and update some of these workbooks, and then see what it looks like when I merge it back into the original workbook. So let's do accounting. I'll double click and open that up. Let's say the Max Cleaner has switched departments. He's now in the customer service department. So I'll start typing in the first couple letters. It pulls up the rest of the name customer service. Just hit the tab key. And of course, he's probably going to have a new extension. How about 2222? Go ahead and hit enter. Be sure to save the work. And then let's go ahead. A shortcut for closing out of your window here is just Control W. It closes out of the inner window but leaves the shell of the program still open. Of course, that's in my Windows Vista Level 1 training video. Come back down here to the Exercise folder on the taskbar and let's do, well, Customer Service. Double click on that. Let's make some changes here. Let's say somebody just had an extension change. So we'll go ahead and do about just 2,000. Hit Enter. Be sure to save my work. That's good enough for now. Hopefully you get the idea of what's going to happen here when I merge my workbooks. It's going to have Max Cleaner in a new department, and it's going to have Frank Burns with a new extension. So again, I'll close out of the inner window, close out of it, and come back to my Exercise folder. Let's go back to my original workbook, double-click and open that up. Now I want to be able to merge those workbooks. To merge the workbooks, I need to add a button to my Quick Access Toolbar, and it's called the Compare and Merge Workbooks button. Well, not button, but Compare and Merge Workbooks. To do that, just right-click anywhere up here on the Quick Access Toolbar, go down and left-click on Customize, come down here and change it from Popular Commands to All Commands, and then scroll down to the C's here, and want to find Compare and Merge Workbooks. Double-click on it to add it over here, click OK, pulls up in the Quick Access Toolbar, it's that nice little green button, 
when you're ready if it's at the end of the month go ahead and click on the button it's going to say okay where are those workbooks that you want to merge into this one well there's the first one hold down the control key and click on the second third fourth and fifth or you can click on one hold down the shift key and click on the last one and it selects everything in between as well all you have to do is go ahead and click OK and automatically it made the changes there. You can see that it's now has customer service for Max Klinger with a new extension. Then we have a new extension for Frank Burns. Um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you recall from your share workbook training videos there, you can also come up here and track your changes. Click on the drop down arrow and accept and reject changes. What kind of changes? Well, changes that haven't been reviewed yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it's going to say, well, we made some changes here. The original value is human resources and then I change it to accounting so it does keep track of um, all the changes that I've made even when I saved my workbook previously before I shared it so you can accept all reject all changes I can accept that it goes to the next one it says the old value was 2912 the new extensions that I accept it and then of course down here the extension used to be 2112 now it's 2000 accept it thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.